Prime Minister and Dr. Anand Raghunathan both are wrong. They don't have a right sense of history because the orders for the execution of Zorawar Singh and Fateh Singh were given by the governor of Sarhin. That was uh, Wazir Khan and not Aurangzeb. And secondly, when you are talking about uh, Guru Gobind Singh Ji, he has written a Zafar Nama to Aurangzeb. And this Zafar Nama was written in 1705. The execution happened in 1704. And in the entire Zafar Nama, nowhere does he mention or he complained against this form of, of this tragedy that occurred or he nowhere holds Islam responsible for this form of a tragedy. Rather, in Zafar Nama, in verse 292, Guru Gobind Singh Ji himself calls himself as Buth Shikam, that is the idol destroyer, like Aurangzeb. So when I'm talking about the medieval times, it was a time period where there was a source of legitimacy which was derived from religion. And that was the reason why there was religious bigotry and tyranny. And the entire sacrifice and martyrdom of Zorawar Singh and Fateh Singh was against tyranny and not against a particular religion. It was not against the Islam religion as the present government is exposing it to be, as the present government is justifying it to be. The point is, if the Prime Minister is really serious with respect to the martyrdom of Zorawar Singh and Fateh Singh, he must stop being acting in a tyrannical manner. He must stop his own bigotry and understand that it's in a form of a, 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 a equality towards all religions. Peace, peace where the entire essence of a civilization lies in. So he must start, he must stop targeting Islam or a particular religious community by misrepresenting history. Before trying to set the correct historical narrative, let him get his historical facts right. Dr. Ranganathan, you got it wrong. Prime Minister Modi got it wrong. Lokesh Jindal and the Congress party have got it right. 